Hi, I'm um, doing a video on how to test hall sensors, if they're working or not. This is a Rockwell GT16. It keeps jittering all the time. Uh, it nearly threw me off the wheel the other day. I've done a, a post about it. But the wires were, um, were broken through on here and they were touching each other. And I don't know whether it's just uh, the wires that need replacing or whether the hall sensors have been damaged from the wires touching each other or not. Uh, so this is how you do a test. First of all, I speak in French a little bit as well to help Fred on there. Uh, bonjour Fred, uh, comment pour faire le test de la hall sensor? To mettre le, le 5 volt? You put uh, 5 volts, you need 5 volts on here. Um, on the hall sensor, right now, let me just get a little pointy thing, one second. Right, uh, my multimeter is good. On the hall sensor here, you have three hall sensors. Fred, ça c'est le trois hall sensor. D'accord, ça c'est le board circuit pour le hall sensor. This circuit board that controls the hall sensor. So what you have, you have a, a green, yellow, blue, black and red cable. I first say le, le vert, le jaune, le bleu, le noir, le rouge. Le noir and rouge, ça c'est pour le voltage. The red and black is for the volts. Uh, you need to put 5 volts onto here. To mettre le 5 volts pour le hall sensor pour marcher. Um, le hall sensor c'est comme un interrupter, comme le maison, tu pousses le interrupter, le, le, le lumière, le, le ampoule. Um, mais il n'est pas le interrupter normal, il est interrupter tu pousses normalement, ça le interrupter c'est avec un armant. So it's like a, a light switch that you turn on and off, but with this it turns on and off with a magnet. There's something inside that when there's a magnet going there, it closes the circuit. So to meter le 5 volt, de don la. And ça, il le meter le 5 volt, don la all sensor. Con le magnet, le amon, il le passe, il le ferme le circuit, and it'll emit a 5 volt so the fill a sortie direct them on a la carte mat. So you put your 5 volts onto here. You switch the hall sensor with a magnet and uh, that will allow the current to pass through. Then you should have 5 volts coming up here. Quand tu fais le test, normalement c'est pas 5 volt parce que il est beaucoup Boku uh, uh, parasite, so peut-être say un point cinq, un point six volt. Um, when you do the reading, normally there's there's not always five volts on here, because you can have like interference and stuff like that. But it's just whether when it's a closed, you have the voltage. When it's open, you have no voltage, and that's how you know it's working. Uh, quand tu mets le air mon, tu as le, le voltage. Quand tu sorti, tu as le zéro voltage. Et ça, c'est le, le whole sensor marche bien. So, je commence le test. Uh, j'ai 5 volts là. Connecté. Oui, mon feu. Je remette la caméra. over so right put it on put the the dc voltage measuring dc to meter so the the voltage direct current so uh do 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 wait 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 so say more sank volt to prong the the clip the crocodile this is for the five volts you take the alligator clips like this. You connect the other end to the red. To mettre le, le crocodile c'est le rouge. To prendre un deuxième. Ça 
Godzilla ground. Lesser ground. Uh, Japan, Crocodile, Jimita, Didon. Is it possible? Uh, we Jimita, come so. La Otra Cote, La Crocodile. The other side, Jimita, Silla ground, Noir. You put this on the ground. So I say still a ground. To prond the to prond the probe, put the the multimet. You take the needles for the the probes for the multimeter. To uh, this one, put it on the ground. And so that's the the fill, the le sorti le toi fill. You put this on the ground, and you measure the the wires coming out of this. So, pour le ground, uh, j'utilise a mem pour le ground ça, so je mette ça dans le, le plastique de le crocodile. I put it on the crocodile wire, so I've got ground, so now I'm just testing with the... Oh, let me check that light a minute. That's it. Now I'm testing with the positive. So... Il est 5 volts. Il est 3 jaunes. Le, le jaune sur la droite, c'est le voltage. Le jaune dans le milieu, c'est la terre. Et sur la gauche, c'est le signal. So you have your, on each hall sensor, you have your positive ground and like the, the signal one. So you put this on the right one to check the voltage. Ça c'est pour le, le voltage. Pour, pour essay le voltage, try le voltage pour tout le hall sensor. So you check that you have all the voltage on the hall sensor. So it's 5 volt. The deuxième. 5 volt. The second. 5 volts. The third, il est le plastique, c'est difficile. I don't know. Ça c'est plus. Il est le plastique de protection. The derrière. Uh, I don't on leave le oui oui je, just on leave le, le protection on pour pour pousser sur le ground I've just taken off a little bit of the pr protection that's over the last one so I've got contact the so contact right le toit il est 5 volts all three of them have 5 volts so the Le voltage sur le circuit et le mettre le 5 volt pour chaque hall sensor. So, ça, c'est bien. So, each hall sensor is getting 5 volts, so we know the voltage is getting there fine. Donc, la prochaine, the, the next. Right, so I've just checked each hall sensor. So the wire, the green, the yellow and blue coming off, you check if there's any voltage on there. There's no... Where did I put my magnet? There's no magnet on there. So there should be no voltage whatsoever. The circuit should be... Yeah, it, it shouldn't be closed like that. So if you look at this, it'll unpoise hank volt. Un point six volt. Un point six volt. Un point cinq. So you got one point five, one point five, one point five, roughly. There should be no voltage coming through here at all. No money la part de voltage comme ça. Tu mets la positive, c'est la première fil vert. You put it on the, the green one. 1.5, you put the magnet on the hall sensor to make the air mount to the, the hall sensor to unleave in the Fermi. To make it over. Fermi, over. Fermi, over. So 
il ove affirme correctamon avec la airmont, so the premier. So the first one is opening and closing correctly with the magnet. Uh, tu mette la airmont parce que la, la autre côté, la, so la jante de la rue, tu as tout la airmont, and quand il est tourné, le haut sensor il le detect quand la, quand la rue il est, il est tourné. You have magnets on the on the rim on the other part of the motor. So when it's turning, this is turning on and off all the time, detecting where the magnets are, so where the wheel is positioned. Right, le deuxième. Ça c'est le cab le cab je. The second is the yellow cable. You put the magnet on the hall sensor, take it off, put back on, take it off, put back on. Ça c'est marche. Le troisième, ça c'est le, le câble bleu. Le third one is a blue cable, you put on the hall sensor. Hold on. That's off, on, off, on, off, on. So the opening and closing properly with the magnet. But what I'm going to check now, I leave the magnet on the third one, I'll check the other one, see if there's voltage. So that's got 1.6 volts. That's got 1.5 volts. And there's no magnet in front of that. They shouldn't be turned on at all. Jean leave the air mon and the encore. And the pas fermé to so. Ça c'est fermé. Ça c'est over. So, ça c'est pas normal. So, that's not normal. It should be zero volts without a, a magnet on there. I put the magnet on there and bring it off. Donc, elle marche comme ça, mais elle est pas fermée tout le temps. Because ça, elle est over. Ça, elle est fermée. Donc, euh, euh, je connais pas beaucoup, je connais comment pour test, mais pour moi, il est un problème parce que le circuit, il est, il est resté ouvert. C'est bien... Attends, mettre le correct. Normalement, ça c'est marche, mais le problème... Les autres, ils restent ouverts et ils ne parlent pas le magnet dedans. J'en livre le airman et le encore ouvert. So je essaie pour change tout le hall sensor. So I try to change all the hall sensors on here because I think these hall sensors have a problem from when the wires were touching and they've bugged them up a little bit. So they're working, but they're not open and closed. They were open and closed with a magnet, but some of them staying open, some of them staying closed. So in theory, that should confuse the motherboard, and it doesn't know exactly where the the wheel is, which will cause it tick 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 tick, which will cause a jittering. Okay, so I think the problem with this motor is the hall sensor. Je pense le problème avec le, le motor c'est le hall sensor parce que il reste ouvert le circuit, il est pas fermé tout le temps. So le, le roue il est connu par la position. So le roue il est tic 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 il est fait, euh, mette le beaucoup de vibration comme ça. So, oui, c'est ça, c'est pour, comment pour essayer le hall sensor. Uh, so that's how you try the hall sensors. And uh, Fred, je peux voir le hall sensor, s'il te plaît. Tu as le motor cassé, je prends, s'il te plaît. Merci, au revoir. Thanks, bye-bye.